Hello everyone. So I just wanted to make a quick video showing exactly what goes on in an outboard gearbox. So essentially this is kind of the area right behind your propeller. And um, many people kind of, it's seen as a difficult area, something that's kind of difficult to understand. How does it work? And I'm just gonna show you because the way it works is beyond simple. Now, basically every outboard, since outboards were pretty much invented, works this way. The earlier versions only had a forward gear, but uh, this is as forward and reverse as any motor in the last 50 years or so. So what happens is you have three pieces, the gear, gears, the shift rod, and the drive shaft. So basically the moment you start up your engine, whether it's in forward or reverse, the drive shaft will start spinning. This is connected to the flywheel at the top of your motor. So that kind of big spinning disc, this is connected to the top there, so it's spinning at all times. So right now, we started up the motor, and as you can see, the propeller is not turning. And this is actually why it's important to check uh, if you're checking a motor, you always wanna make sure in neutral that the propeller turns. So if you're buying one and you put it in neutral, it should spin, as you can see here. Now, these gears are always spinning and the clutch in the center, this is what connects forward forward and reverse. And basically all the shift rod does is it, whoop, it connects that screw and it goes up and down. And this motion will just move the clutch, the center piece, forward or back. So now say we move it like this and you, the motor is still spinning. Suddenly the propeller catches. Now let's move it the other way. And as you see, the propeller spins in a different direction. So this is it. This is pretty much the entire mechanism. And all you're doing when you shift, reverse, back or forward, is literally moving this tiny piece of metal between these two gears. And it's, you know, it's, it's not a difficult mechanism to repair. It's pretty easy to tune. But once you know what's going on, it, it becomes just easy to understand and take apart and essentially work on. Most likely, if you're having issues shifting into forward or reverse, the issue isn't actually something's broken down here, but that the shift rod is not configured correctly and it, the cable isn't pulling it high or low enough. So essentially, you're just moving this a little bit and not far enough, but maybe too much in the other direction. So uh, try to calibrate your shift rod before maybe taking something apart or trying to take the whole thing apart.